Ladies and gentlemen, Brozilli Gaming presents Astronia! And in this fantastic episode, we're looking at how to fix True Flat in survival mode! Or as it's probably no creative mode, but I keep calling survival because of your comments on my YouTube videos! Please stop it! It's adventure mode! Hashtag slow mod! Keep now! Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Brozelli Gaming. You with me Zelly and I'm back in my True Flat City to talk to you about, yes you guessed it, True Flat. We were only here yesterday giving you a tutorial on how to obtain it. But today I'm here to say hello and also to talk to you about survival mode. Yes, survival mode and why it's so hard to get True Flat in it. Well, let's talk about why it's easy to obtain in creative mode. In creative mode, you're able to manipulate your terrain on many levels. The deform speed, the size and the range. And as you know, my favorite is 0.04 for the deform speed, because that makes it nice and easy to get true flat. We've also got modifications, which we can use in survival mode. And we're going to talk about them in detail. So the boost mod. It allows us to boost up the deformation speed that we use. The narrow mod, which reduces the size of the area that we can deform, and the wide mod increases it. Oh, hello Jack. What? Slow down. Yes, I'm dealing with it now. I'm trying to get the devs to create a slow mod for survival mode. And that way we can do the soil. Right, where were we? So, modifications. We have the boost mod. The boost mod again helps us get a faster terrain manipulation. The narrow mod allows us a smaller targeted area of soil and the wide mod, well, a larger. So let's just show you here in creative mode real quick of how it works when it comes to true flat. Taking out our terrain tool, I can make sure that my deform speed's slow and it's not affecting a large area. We're gonna bring up this first pyramid and then start bringing up the rest. So in creative mode, making true flat is really easy because we have a lot of control over the soil. And that is purely down to how fast we can move it. Or more to the point, how slow. So I'm gonna keep bringing up these sides and you can see there's a green top on it. Once I've got a nice block, I'm gonna work that block down. So why is adventure mode so hard? Well, it's purely down to the speed that you deform the terrain. I'm gonna show you that shortly, but right here in creative mode, I'm gonna show you how to get true flat again. So now that we have that top, we can just feather it down using that slow deform speed that we set in our menu. Unfortunately, this isn't available in creative mode. So slowly bringing this down, we can start to see the train flattening off. We need to add a little bit up, and there it is. We have true flat. So with this true flat, we can now up the deformation speed and then manipulate it, pushing it out to make a larger surface area. So if this was survival mode, we could use modifications like a slow mod, and then the boost mod, and the wide mod, and the narrow mod to put all this together. So, what are we going to do now? Well, let's move in to survival mode. And we're going to do that right here. We can just access our menu, open it up, and turn off creative mode. Creative mode now turned off, let's look at our terrain tool. It has a default size, without any mods on it. It also has a default speed. So I'm going to try and manipulate the train and make a true flat surface. And as you can see, the soil moves very, very quickly. So it can make it very hard to make true flat. And this is the fundamental flaw that people are finding in survival mode, to the point they're getting extremely frustrated. Now I completely understand why people want it in survival mode. I do too. Because one thing I love doing is foraging out in the world and being able to do the true flat and do my buildings. But here I've manipulated a section that I think is close to true flat. Running around these edges, I'm going to take this top piece. 
flatten that out, but unfortunately, it's not true flat. It's close, but not close enough. What do you need to be able to manipulate the train perfect in adventure mode? Well, to get these true flats in adventure mode, we're gonna need a slower deformed speed. So, my best suggestion is a slow mod. Yes, something that we can slow it down and manipulate it a lot easier and have a better chance of seeing what we can do when it comes to the soil in adventure mode. But will the devs bring this in? Well, there's only one way to find out and that's just to spam them and say, hey, can we get a slow mod? That'd be the quickest way, but they might also be working on true flat mods at the mo- What? Jack? What are you doing? What do you mean blowing a hole because you can't get flat? Just have a bit of patience. I'm trying to work on a solution here. I mean, it does look quite flat. But it's also a big hole in my world. What are you thinking? Oh, very mature. What do you mean you're not coming out the hole until they sort it out? I don't have time for this, Jack. So, while Jack spat his dummy out, let's talk about how we can fix this problem. Slow mod. So what do you think? Do you think a slow mod will help us out in adventure mode? If yes, well you know what to do. Leave a comment below saying, give slow mod now. Or head over to the Astroneer official Discord and let them know that we've had this idea to create a slow mod to help us get true flat in adventure mode. But for now, I've got to deal with Jack. It's going to take months of therapy to get him out of that hole. But we do have true flat in creative mode, but I'd really love to see it in survival. It'll come one day. Maybe they're working on mods right now. We don't know. Thanks, Zelly. And if you agree with Zelly, leave a comment below now saying, Gib Slow Mod. Please. Pretty, pretty, please. With a cherry on top! <laughs>